I swear, every day I use FooBar, I learn something new. Hey guys, today I'm going to be showing you how to set up um, easy switching of different audio devices. For example, if you have speakers and headphones and you want to be able to easily switch between two of them, I'll show you how to make a shortcut for that. The first thing you'll need to do is know something about your headphones, like the name or whatever, and speakers too. So in order to do this, open up the start menu and just type in sound. And you should see an option for change sound card settings. Yours may be smaller than this, I just opened it a lot, so mine's showing up big. Um, but it should be in there somewhere. And it's not changed sound settings. It needs to be the one called sound card. Because um, they, Windows messes up a lot of things. Anyway, so as you see here, here are my headphones. G935. That's pretty easy to find and unique. So remember that. They're also called wireless headphones. But if you have a more generic name, like this monitor out thing, you might want to change that. So to do it, just right click and go to properties. Then just change it to whatever you want. I'm going to call this external speakers because it's easy you just want something that's easy to remember again we did not change my headphones because it's called g935 that's easy to remember all right if you change anything here you will need to restart uh, foobar so just completely close it and open it again and then you should be good again if you didn't make any changes you don't have to do that um, now we can go to file and preferences and go down to shortcuts keyboard shortcuts. Now we're gonna make a new one. So we're gonna do add new and in it we're gonna look up the name of our device. So 935 was our headphones and here they are. And now we need a key to switch to them. You don't want to do control alt anything because that usually gets mixed mixed up with programs. Throwing in the Windows key for the modifier is usually okay. It's gotta make sure it's not something else. So basically if I type here Windows key H for headphones See this little dictation thing comes up, so we don't want to do, use that. So let's try Alt Windows Key H, and there we go. Now we can now switch to our headphones with Alt Windows Key H. You can check this global hotkeys box, and that will make it so it works even if um, FooBar is minimized. So we'll go ahead and click that, and now we're going to do one for our speakers too. Add new, and in this box we're going to type in speakers, and here's our external speakers that we just renamed. So go ahead and click on that, and we're going to do a key. Let's test it out. Uh, Alt, Windows key, S. Nothing happened. Nothing popped up, so we should be good. Again, if we did, like, just Windows key, S, this thing pops up. We don't want that. So make sure nothing pops up on your computer. Alt, Windows key, S is safe. Global hotkey. And now we want to click Apply. So now, if I play the music right now, it should be still coming through my wireless headphones, which you guys are hearing. And as you can see, here it sounds pretty okay. But now when I press Alt, Windows key, S, and you can see now it's kind of echoey because you're hearing it through my speakers. It's not being recorded um, through the software. And that's why it sounds kind of echoey. So now I switch it back, Alt, Windows key, H, and now it sounds crisp and clear because the software is just grabbing it from uh, the output. It's not being recorded through a microphone. And just one more time, Alt, Windows key, S, and now you're hearing it through my microphone as opposed to just a software capture. And that's it. Pretty quick and pretty easy. There's so many things you can do with hotkeys. This program's amazing. I, I mean, I understand why some people don't like it. It doesn't look great, but it is just super flexible. Alright, I hope you guys enjoyed this video, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.